Hi, John Garfield. Talking about the spirit of knowledge in the council. So knowledge and the spirit of fear of the Lord are uh, a tandem. And they go together by uh, knowledge is sort of the downloads I receive. And the fear of the Lord is the awareness of what others receive or honoring uh, what they carry. That, and that's the culture of honor. That's the fear of the Lord. We'll talk about that next. But the spirit of knowledge is... Um, the, the concept of getting downloads for creativity. It's your seer gift when you see something in heaven um, that the Lord wants to show you. There, and trust me, there's lots to see. <laughs> it's like Ikea up there. <laughs> Everything you could ever imagine. And it's one of the ingredients for leadership. Leaderships carry a spirit of knowledge. And um, they're they just have an awareness of how, what's going on, how to do things, how to be creative, what's next, etc. So the theme or the purpose of the spirit of knowledge is to show sons answers, to impart downloads, so that they lead in Father's purpose and creativity and reinvention and innovation. What do sons bring back? The Hebrew word for knowledge is yada, uh, to ascertain by seeing. Isn't that remarkable? That's why uh, we want to develop our seer gifts. To, this word knowledge means to ascertain by seeing. Uh, it's getting downloads from heaven. It's the concept of sons experiencing uh, tribe, this contagious favor. Once you, um, you know, run with people who operate in the spirit of knowledge, it is contagious. And I want to suggest that uh, there's a momentum that goes with it. There's a there's a, like a, brainstorming is the wrong word, but it's, it's infectious how it uh, operates. So, <clears throat> Father, we just uh, thank you for the spirit of knowledge for, uh, Father, revelation, downloads, Father, that you share not only what you're doing, uh, the strategy of what you're doing, the tactics, Lord, our role, uh, our authority, and, and now, uh, this awareness of how uh, new inventions, new creativity, new ideas, this sense of um, touching uh, the heavenly realm and bringing new ideas to earth, new inventions. So, Father, we're, I just release, I decree uh, a new level of creativity in businesses. Father, that owners would get new, new downloads, new strategies, new ideas new approaches, Father, um, that they would reinvent their approach uh, based on what they've seen in heaven, that, Father, they would not be caught by surprise or fluctuating prices or supply chain issues or economic downturns or currency valuations or uh, wars or whatever, Father, that uh, you're always ahead of those things. And that, Father, when we have access to heaven, access to the spirit of knowledge, Lord, there's a, there's a better idea, a better way to implement your purposes, to implement, uh, Father, your kingdom. And, Father, we're, I'm just releasing the spirit of knowledge all the way to reformation of nations. That, Father, there would be um, no no such thing as hunger on earth, that, Father, we would navigate um, weather patterns, the environmental issues, Father, that you would release knowledge uh, over the earth to solve, uh, Father, economic problems, health problems, Father, we just release the knowledge to overcome things like cancer, to overcome every virus, Father, that you would give your people knowledge even when there's misleadership, there's intentional deception, that there would be an awareness of truth, that uh, you would give knowledge from the heavenlies that would overcome the enemy's attempts to deceive and deny, that, Father, your people would still be wise and they would, through knowledge, inherit their land and their, their purpose, their mandate. In the name of Jesus, we just thank you for your, for your provision and for the spirit of knowledge Lord, we welcome this influence. We welcome the conversations. And <clears throat> we just say thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name.